slowly walk your feet towards your hands into a forward bend, exhaling all the air out of your body. And then inhale with a straight spine, bend your knees to support your back, lift your arms by your ears, rise up to standing. Placing your hands to your heart, samastihi, even standing. On an inhale, reach your arms up, bend back, open up your heart. Exhale, interlace your fingers behind you. Forward bend, reach your arms up and over. Allow gravity to take it. Relaxing your hands down onto the mat. On either side of your feet, extend your left leg to the back. In lunge, looking up. Hold your breath, step your right leg to the back in plank. Exhale, the knees down, chest and the chin down. Inhale, slide forward and up into a cobra. Exhale, push back into a down and facing the left. Look front, step the left leg to the front. And your right leg front. Exhale, all the air out. Inhale to rise. All the way up and bend back. Exhaling into a forward bend. Inhaling this time with the right leg to the back, lowering the hips down, lunging, looking up, lengthening the spine, hold the breath, step the left leg back. Exhale, knees, chest, chin down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, Anubhasanasana. Look front, step your right leg to the front, left knee down, looking up. Exhale, left leg front, forward bend, rise and pause at the top. Hands to the heart, samasthiti, and begin again. Inhale, exhale, left leg back, inhale, plank, exhale, inhale, breathe out. Left front, left leg front, and right leg front. Rise and bend back. Exhaling, forward bend. Inhale, right leg back. Plank. Exhale. Inhale. Rise, open the heart. Exhale, push back. Right leg front, left leg front, forward bend. Rise and pause at the top and we'll do one more round to warm up your body. Inhaling, breathing. Exhaling, forward bend. Inhale, left leg to the back. Plank. Exhale. Inhale. Toes and push back. Look front, left leg front, and the right leg front. Rise and bend back. Exhaling to forward bend. Inhaling your right leg to the back. Plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and chin down. Inhale. Exhale, push back. Left foot, step your right leg front. And the left leg front. Forward bend, rise and pause at the top. Breathe. Think about pulling energy from the ground up to your heart center. And from the and from above down to your heart center. Breathing long and deep. On your next inhale, bending your knees, lifting your arms up into Utkatasana. Exhaling into a forward bend. Inhale now, lengthen your back, make a tabletop of your back. Either fingertips on the floor, or you can place your hands 
just below your knees if you need to go up a little higher. Exhale, press your hands down and walk or jump back into plank. Send your elbows into Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale into an up dog. Support your weight. Up on your hands. Weight on your arms and hands. Roll through your toes. Exhale into downward facing dog. And take five long breaths there. In this pose, you want to feel your belly pull in against the spine. Your spine long, your arms long, your heels pulling down towards the floor. So it's with the belly pulling inwards and upwards towards the rib cage, spine and rib cage. That's your Uddiyana Banda. Feeling your breath long and deep. Lifting your heels, bending your knees, looking front. Walk or jump to the front into sitting, extending your legs to the front. It's the Pasha So you're sitting with both legs, straight toes pointing up. Inhale your arms up towards the ceiling, lengthen your spine, and exhale, take forward bend. Place your hands somewhere comfortable, either on the mat or on your feet, on your legs. And you can use your hands to guide you down as well as your breath. Because the breath is the one that always initiates the movement. As you inhale, you think about lengthening the spine. As you exhale, think about moving further down. Toes, toes up. So when you activate and engage your thigh muscles, you relax the hamstrings and all the way to the back, back to the legs. Close your eyes if that's comfortable. And focus on your breath or focus on the Muladhara Chakra by the groin, red in color, bright red, no obscurations. Secure. You feel secure in yourself and in others. Trust, faith, and security. On the next inhale, rise up, lifting your arms up, lifting up. Release your hands just behind you, a few inches behind you. Bend your knees, inhale, and lift your hips up, relax your head back if that's comfortable. And on an inhale, bringing the chin into the chest, lowering down slowly. Let's do a vinyasa. So take your legs in back, hands in front, plank pose, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, up dog. You can modify this harder or easier, depending on how you're feeling. You don't always have to do the same vinyasa throughout the class. All right. Let's bring the legs together and inhale the left leg up to the ceiling. Bend the knees and really open up the hips. And then looking forward, swing that left leg to the front. Guide the right knee down to the floor. Pop the foot down. And just open the left arm up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, lower your hand, left hand down, 
Guide the elbows down on the right side and maybe the crown to your head down. You're moving your focus now to your Swadhisthana Chakra below the navel, orange in color. Center for openness and creativity and abundance. Keeping the flow of the breath going. On the next inhale, you slowly guide yourself up, just balancing on that left leg. Inhale, hands to the heart, and dip your arms up, bending back. Sinking your hips front. Hands to your heart. Press your hands down. Step the left leg to the back. Into your down meditation dog. Stand down dog to rest. Or go through your vinyasa. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog and down dog. From downward facing dog, inhale, right leg up towards the ceiling, bending of the knee and reaching to the left side, lifting the right leg up towards the ceiling, swinging it to the front, right between the legs, and this time, left knee comes down, top of the foot down, on an inhale, the right arm comes up. Opening up that body, opening up that energy, exhaling hands down and taking your elbows down over the left side. Good, so soften and relax so you feel tension. Would you be able to place that leg going forward just so relaxed? Yeah, just so you always want to be just below the left knee. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Strength and surrender in that pose. Hands to the heart. All the way down. And tuck the back toes in. Step the right leg back. Down dog to rest. And go through your vinyasa. Vinyasa is just how to move your energy around. When you reach down your facing dog, walk your jump to sitting. Bring the soles and the feet together, lengthening the spine here, inhaling. You can use your hands just to gently guide your knees down or your thighs down. Exhale, take your navel closest to the soles of your feet or your forehead. This close as you can towards the floor. Position impossible. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're right there, look at you. All have different bodies. Focusing on the breath, or Swadhisthana One more breath. And then inhale, rise up. 
guide yourself down lying down. Just the bottom of Manasan. And you might find that this is actually more relaxing than doing a forward bend, but you're still getting a hip opener. And soften and relax where you feel any tension. I remember one time we did this lay down and Polly it was like halfway through the class and Polly went, is that it? Is it Shabbat Shalom? <laughs> Bringing your knees together, hugging your knees into the chest and just rock side to side to release tension in your spine. Do like a circle with your knees. One way and another way. Now very easy, just simply drop the knees over to the left side and turn your head right. those lower chakras. Breathing, enjoy, exhaling, anything you don't need. On the inhale, come back up to the center, hugging your knees in. Forehead to your knees and rock up to sitting. Rock forward and back, all the way up to sitting. Take legs to one side, hands to the front, into your thighs, and around them, up dog, and down the facing dog. Walk or jump to the front, forward dog, and rise up, hands to your heart. Garudasa Eagle Pose. So balance on your left, right. Balance on your right leg. You imagine that you're lifting your hip up, lifting your rib cage up. So then you can release the left leg. Cross it to the front, and maybe that's it. Or you can cross all the way and actually hook the foot. And then the left arm goes underneath the right. Passing that round. Once you get your balance, you squat down and elbows up towards your face. You can actually go to crawl for example. Left leg, right leg, so it goes all the way around. And this time the right arm goes underneath. Sinking the hips down and elbows to your face. Release any extra thoughts from your mind. Because they will make you wobble. But. <laughs> Facing dog and exhaling into downward facing dog. 
Moving into the Manipura Chakra, let's work our warriors. Inhale, bring your left leg up towards the ceiling. Exhale, swing it through between your hands. Ground the back heel down. Left knee above that ankle and lift yourself up into warrior one. Virabhadrasana. Put a chakra for your strength, determination, willpower. Release your arms behind you, interlace your fingers. Inhale, bend back slightly, opening the chest and heart. Exhale, take a forward bend, top of the head towards the mat, and lift your arms up and over. Just one breath there, a few breaths, and inhaling, coming back up into warrior one. Strong through the legs and arms. Let's do that one more time. Opening the arms out, inhale. Bending back. Exhale. Forward bend. Inhale back into warrior one. Release your arms. Strong through the legs. Don't know about you, my legs are burning. Take your hands down. Left, left leg back. Shut the arms down that. And upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Okay, feet together, inhale, the right leg up to the ceiling. Exhale, swing it through, right between your hands. Back heel down, inhale, to warrior one. Try to keep the back leg straight as much as you can. And the hips facing forward. Sometimes the hips don't face forward. If the hips are tight, some people like to lift the heels up. That's fine. It just takes more strength. So we open the arms, interlace the fingers. And then back. Breathing in. Exhaling. And again, lift me up to where you Opening out, breathing in, exhaling, inhaling, exhale, hands down, swing your right leg to the right. Turn around the end up and upward facing forward. Downward facing forward. Nice. Lift left leg up to the ceiling. Exhale, swing through. Okay, you want to move the back heel, the back leg a little bit closer. And rise here. Both legs straight. Um, we actually want to do Namaskar Mudra behind your back, or just hold, so you either hold on to your elbows, or Namaskar Mudra behind your back. So on an inhale, you don't want to be too wide with this one. Make sure the hips are facing forward, bend back slightly. Exhale, forward bend. Keep gazing at those toes. You're focused still on the Manipura Chakra. The breath is long and even. From here, release your left hand down on the floor, just beside that beside that uh, left foot, right hand on your waist. You want to twist to the right. And for some of you, you might, want, you might need to lift your, your hand, your left hand up 
somewhere on your leg, especially if you feel like you're leaning forward. So you want that spine in line with that left leg. And once you have your balance in alignment, you lift your right arm up, and then you're looking up. back to the waist, bend the left knee slightly and rise up, okay, step to the front, and just simply stepping the left leg to the back, not too wide again, holding onto your elbows, or your mascara moves are behind your back, breathing in, bending back to prepare, and breathe out, forward bend, Ground down the inside edge of your right foot. And do a trikonasana, so releasing your hands, taking that right leg, right hand on the mat. Opening the left shoulder, lifting the left arm up. We're going to keep that right leg as straight as possible. And that means you lift your torso up a little bit and your hand up on your leg. You can go ahead and do that. Right, so it's the second we'll go for a vinyasa. So bend that right knee, hands on either side of the right foot, chaturanga, upward facing dog, From here, let's lift the left leg up towards the ceiling and swing it to the front, right between your hands. Okay. Sink your hips nice and low. And hands to the heart. Take your right elbow outside of the left knee. Begin by inhaling and then exhaling to a twist. Hands right at the center, heart center. Now, if you feel strong today, tuck the back toes in and straighten that leg out. And the next stage is Varibhita Tikhanasana. Extend both legs once you bring the back leg in a little bit closer. And keep the twist as you open your arms. Back toes in, straighten that out. You try it on one side. And then what you do is you kind of hop the back leg closer to the front a little bit. And when you do that, you can straighten both legs, keep the twist, open your arms. To 
chest to triangle. And here's probably the last vinyasa. Looking down, taking your hands down. Right leg to the back. Inhale up. your legs, soften and relax your arms. Relax your breath. You still want to feel your breath long and deep. Feel your breath nourishing your body. Body strong and healthy so it accomplishes all the goals of your mind and spirit, your heart. Slowing the breath down. Heart and navel chakra. Forehead on the mat. And your hands by your shoulders, palms down. Extend your legs to the back. You activate, if you've got a tight back, you want to open your legs around hip distance. Tighten your buttocks and your legs, to keep the tops of the foot down. In other words, just keep contact with the floor. On an inhale, brush your nose against the back, so you're lifting your neck up. And then lifting the top of the spine, just a gentle cobra. Release down, push yourself right around into a child's pose. Focusing your energies, bringing your energies, imagine that you're moving light from the base of the spine upwards, passing through the chakra below the navel, at the navel, and up to your heart. Feel it very strong in your heart and lift that up to the throat chakra. And imagine now that energy, that light onto your forehead chakra, just where forehead is touching the mat. Soften and relax your body. Take your hands 
difficult to grab your heels. Hold on to your heels tight. And then take the crown of your head on the mat. So the top of your head on the mat instead of your forehead. Then on the inhale, lift your hips up. So you'll feel that stretch, just the upper back, the shoulders. As you're lifting your hips up, you're holding on tight to your heels, so there's opposition. And release back down into child's pose. Oh, that was good. <laughs> you moved your hands. <laughs> 